back in ETV. Hello there, Internet. It's John Ray with Balcony TV Austin, and our next artist was actually just voted Artist of the Month by The Delhi Magazine. She's Austin's own 60s songstress and stands out with a spring in her test, a spring in her test, <laughs> a spring in her step, a daughter on her arm, and occasionally a killer beehive, which I was a little disappointed that we oh, didn't get to see that. Sorry. This is Jazz Mills. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you for having me. Tell me what you guys are going to be playing first. Um, this first song is a song that Corey wrote called, what are we calling it? Black Leather Jacket? Sure. Okay, Black Leather Jacket, and it's a duet that me and him do together. All right, well, let's hear it. Right, ready? I got a black leather jacket with some Harley patches, and I'm looking tougher than I ever thought I could. And if you had a motorcycle and the paint had the sparkle, I'd be sitting on the back making you look good baby everything for you every little thing i do my makeup and my shampoo too i'm ready for a life with you i got a new vintage gibson and the sound when i'm singing is a Fit so perfect like it is when we hold hands And it reverberates the strongest when the words in the chorus are About some aspects of my beauty or our plans Baby, everything for you Every little thing I do My makeup and my shampoo too I'm ready for a life with you If I buy that Cajun record for all that money It's so I can practice dancing with you tomorrow night And if I buy those leather boots that I've been wanting It's so I can feel so pretty when you see me by. I got a black leather jacket with some Harley patches and I'm looking tougher than I ever thought I could and if you had a motorcycle and the pain had the sparkle I'd be sitting on the back making, making you look good baby everything for you every little thing my makeup and my shampoo too I'm ready for a life with you I'm so ready for a life with you Yeah, I'm so ready for a life with you Very nice Thank you Jazz Mills, Corey, how are we doing? That was beautiful. Right. I'm doing good, thank you. You know, I'm a sucker for duets, and I think there's a certain energy that's created when two people are kind of harmonizing together and really kind of vibing off each other. How did you guys find each other and decide that this was the type of music and that you guys wanted to sing together? Uh... Uh, I think <laughs> we've just been friends for a long time, and this is just kind of the music that we've been listening to, singing, playing, writing, so. I think that for me and Corey, what was effortless about it was that the longer we hung out, the more we realized that majority of the time, any time one of us has an idea to bring to the table about a song we should do or a song that one of us has written, we're always both stoked on the other one's idea. And so it's been pretty easy to put a set together because we seem to kind of be in, um, have similar tastes when it comes to this type of music. Yeah. Now, you've kind of been dubbed Austin's 60s songstress. You rode up on a motorcycle with a guitar on your back, fringe hanging off. You've got the fringe on your jacket. Uh, you, you know, I, tell me a little bit about that, that 60s era and kind of why that is something that you want to infuse into your music. What was it about that time period that appeals to you? 
Um, I would say everything about that time period appeals to me. Um, and it always has, but really it kind of like, it just evolved that way because I did a bunch of photo shoots this last year and a lot of the photographers that I would work with when I would show up they would say you know I really kind of see you in this like 60s vibe and it was like and I went with it because I was like absolutely I'm really into that and it, then it just kind of became like my new thing and I'm all about it and a lot of the clothes that I already have and the music that I listen to is from that genre and so it just I don't know I do I, I'm into the 60s <laughs> good now you guys are relatively new playing together do you what t tell me kind of about where this project is evolving to do, do you guys have an album or an ep that you're going to be putting out or uh you know what does the the next few months look like for jazz mills <laughs> i'll speak for jazz mills about the next few months um i think for now we're just kind of having a good time i, I think we're going to probably we've been working with songs that i've written uh, and songs that jasmine been working with that we like a lot but i think we're gonna you know we're the more we hang out and the more we make music together, the more we're starting to really write songs with this project in mind, with each other in mind. And, uh, I'm excited to see where that goes. I've pretty much only done songwriting just as a personal thing. I haven't written for other people or with other people, so I'm, I'm excited to be collaborating on that. And then hopefully we'll go in the studio. We'll, we will. We definitely will. Yeah, we'll go in the studio. Probably probably sound great too <laughs> probably sound awesome <laughs> you know one of the things that i see a lot of times with bands is, is that they kind of try to put the cart before the horse and, and that they want to find the name they want to find the marketing they, they want to find the branding for the project before they really find the heart of it and it sounds like you guys are kind of taking it from what i would view as as the right approach where where you're just kind of seeing what comes naturally and then letting it flow out would you say that that's an accurate portrayal of kind of how you guys are approaching this? Yeah, and I think that me and Corey are both a part of other projects outside of this that have a more structured agenda to them. And so I think that I think that that's part of the reason why it's easy and nice for both of us to be a part of this project and, and for there not to really be any agenda except for to play music together. And sometimes I'm, even when we get together to play music, we end up just hanging out. And I think that I like the fact that there, I don't have to... If I go over to Corey's house and I just hang out with Corey and we don't write a single song, I don't feel unproductive because it's not like we have some huge goal that we have to meet or some huge deadline we have to meet. Totally. I think in general, Austin's a really nice place to be a creative person because it's, it's easy to live here, it's still relatively cheap, and so <clears throat> I've always felt like you can just kind of be relaxed. I've always tried to you know stay relaxed about my approach to all the music that I'm doing. Not to, yeah feel like I need to be producing a certain number of things because I think, I don't know, that gets in the way of the process. So I think we totally have a nice thing going on right now where it's like, <laughs> just on our own, on our own just time. Just chill out, whatever comes yeah. will come. Keep Austin chill. <laughs> don't tell people that it's cheap here. <laughs> All right, well thank you guys so much for being here. If people want to learn more about your music, uh, follow you, maybe reach out, out to you personally, are you on the internet? Facebook. I... I have all the I have some of the other social media things, but Facebook would be the place to really reach me. Um, I have a website, jazzmills.com, but I uh, it's just the easiest to reach me on Facebook for sure. I've been doing pretty well on Instagram. <laughs> Croy is dumb. My handle, thanks. Very good. Well, I'm John Ray. This is Balcony TV Austin. Corey Jazz, thanks so much for being here. And find these guys on Facebook. Find them on the internet because a lot of cool stuff coming from Jazz Mills and this music. Again, thanks so much for watching. Here from Austin, Texas, the live music capital of the world. Back in ETV.